Hi everyone, welcome to 72 and You. This is going to be a whatever comes out reading for the collective. Um, you can watch this reading. It doesn't matter what sign you are. I just wanted to get on here and um, do another reading. And maybe this is for a different group of people. Okay, so and also you all haven't seen my face in a while. So uh, been staring at the fan at the ceiling. Um, yeah, honestly, I just... I feel like uh, I was doing pretty good up until the eclipse and then about like a day or two after that I start feeling really weird um, and also there's just other stuff going on in my life so um, I'm sure everyone is is going through their own things um, everyone has their own kind of work to do here in the school of life so um, while I, I apologize for my appearance, I also have second degree burns on my thumb, my uh, pointer finger on my left hand and my thumb and my pointer finger on my right hand from um, the chemicals and the nail products that I was using to do these, these uh, duck nails that I was working on. And uh, this one, oh, with the exception of that one, my nails are pretty fucked up looking, but, um, or my hands are pretty fucked up looking, but the nails turned out really pretty. So I don't know. I was experimenting and apparently you can get an allergic reaction from gel polish, but I have a feeling it's not just that it's that it was uncured on my skin. I didn't wash it off or something. Maybe, enough, maybe, uh, fast enough. Um, and maybe that in combination with the glue that I was using or the UV light or something caused a second degree chemical burn. So I have been dealing with that. I am putting bandages on my fingers constantly because I keep itching them off and, um, just too much fidgeting with them. So I need to kind of just do something to get my mind off of that <laughs> today. So that's why I thought I would do a reading for you all. I know it's not been 72 hours yet, 72 hours past the last one I did, but um, this may be resonating with a different group of people, okay? Um, if you would like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, I guess I'm still available to do those, although my fingers are <laughs> a bit... Um, struggling right now. I haven't turned off my calendar, but I don't know. There's someone out there that wants a reading. I could definitely do one for you. Um, lots of times I just see the cards in my, in my head anyway, or I can just read energy. So there's lots of different ways for me to do readings. Sometimes I just get messages through dreams. I've been getting a lot of those lately. So anyway, guys, um, let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, these messages here and I guess I just I apologize for just not being on camera recently um, it's just I haven't felt like being on camera I haven't really been feeling myself lately <laughs> um, so I guess I guess that this is my way of saying I'm still here I'm still present for you I still want to be I still want to read cards for you, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. And, and also, there's just my channel has been going through a lot of problems. Like, um, it's just that the algorithm is, has been weird. Um, and I don't know what to do because I'm kind of at the point where I want to start a new channel. I haven't come up with a name for that channel yet. I haven't settled on any on anything, and I'm very I'm very much um, I'm very uh, what do you call it connected to my channel. I'm very uh, torn about the decision because I love I love the name of my channel. It's been around for so long. I I don't want to abandon it. I don't want to leave it. Um, I feel like. I feel like I, I, I'm between a rock and a hard place here with that decision. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. 
I, I'm trying to just keep going as best as I can. Uh, there's also going to be some changes um, next month because um, my partner has uh, informed me that he's going to be working from home from now on. And the office was a shared office, but he says that he can work anywhere. Um, but having two people working from home at the same time is kind of like what happened. This is what, what it was like for me during the pandemic. During the pandemic, we were both working from home at the same time. And um, I'm okay with that, but like I, I guess I knew that I had to do it for, 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 for the pandemic. And I was, I knew that at some point that that would change, but now this is gonna be a permanent thing. I don't know how I feel about that. I pretty much just, I'm used to having my own space for like a certain amount of hours during the day. And this is really going to change, this could potentially change a lot of things for me. Like I may, I don't know, I may move. <laughs> I may just move because not having my own, my own dedicated space to do tarot, even though I do move around a lot in here, it, it's, I don't know. It's just not something that I'm happy about, but. Maybe this will make me more mobile. I, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. There's just so much up in the air. And uh, maybe some of you are in similar situations where you just kind of, um, the universe has kind of just thrown you a couple curveballs and you know, it's time to, with the Aries North Node, take risks. Take a risk, okay? Um, Libra is a South Node energy, and that deals with our past life karma and uh, the past. So anything that's unresolved from the past is going to put you in Libra South Node energy, and the collective needs to be in the, in the Aries North Node energy, which is about taking a risk which is about pushing your boundaries here and getting out of your comfort zone. And that applies to me as well. So I am not going to be, uh, I don't want to be a mascot for the Libra South node. I'd like to be a mascot for, I don't want to be a mascot period, but I guess, um, uh, you know, what's not to love about being a fool? <laughs> What's not to love about being a fool once in a while, right? Um, taking that leap of faith. Anyway, I digress here and maybe I have spilled the beans too much, but there's just a lot of changes. Fortunately, I have, I have a week to myself here to kind of sort through how I really feel about everything and, and what I want to do. And, um, well, and then there's always next month. So I guess, Time will tell, but let's go ahead and jump into this reading. Um, I am using the Biggins deck. Again, I will timestamp the reading for you guys, um, for anyone that wants to skip over these uh, initial, the intro here. Underneath the deck, we have Mimicry. Okay, so someone is parroting you, copying you, repeating everything you say. Um, this could also be some kind of algorithm or AI bot or something. Uh, this could be something that is, is imitating or, um, yeah, that's what mimicry is. So I don't know what that's about, but there's something coming up with this. It's been coming up for a while now. Um, Mimicry and mirroring has been coming up for quite a lot of time, so. I don't know what that's about, but I'm getting something here is trying to copy you or pair you in some way or um, maybe steal your, try and steal your essence. Try to mimic your energy. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. 
All right, because we know that, that your essence is, is one of a kind, it's unique. Um, and uh, as a human being, we're all unique individuals. So why would someone want to be like someone else? Well, that could be because they don't have their own identity or uh, they don't feel confident in their own skin. I don't know. I'm not here to give reasons for why someone would be doing that, but let's see. Ten minutes already. Jeez, I talked too much. Yeah, we have given you the evil eye. So someone's giving you the evil eye. And that's what it is. Um, who's giving you the evil eye? Collective. Who's doing this? Could be a group of people. I don't know. Who's giving you the evil eye? Here's that Pisces again. Pisces is giving you the evil eye. We have moths making money in your sleep and they just mad because you are hot right now. All right, so uh, a Pisces is giving you the evil eye. Um, I feel like there could be a group of Pisces that are giving you the evil eye, okay? Um, Pisces are the fish. So there could be like a school of fish here. <laughs> I don't know, a group of fish. or <laughs> They're attracted to your light and, and they're mad because you're hot because you're making money in your sleep. All right. What else? We have Mandela Effect. All right, so the Mandela Effect talks about here um, the collective uh, or a group remembering how an event happened incorrectly. All right, so there's something here with memory, collective, our collective memory. All right, um, tell me about the Mandela Effect here. What are we not remembering correctly or what are we not, what are we forgetting here? We're, we're not remembering correctly something about mimicry. So, so again, with, with the, uh, what was at the bottom of the deck here? Wasn't that at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, mimicry. So the Mandela effect is about, so a group of people here or a person are, are misremembering an event incorrectly. And, and that is having to do with mimicry. Okay. Tell me about this, guys. <laughs> this is weird. Tell me about the mimicry. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm walking through a hall of mirrors here or or, or I'm seeing like the seven of cups here or like googly eyes or I don't know someone here I, I feel like someone is 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 real messed up here guys someone here is yeah someone did you dirty tell me about this mimicry did you dirty Mandela effect mimicry did you dirty we have smoke and we have blocked or unavailable. Now this is a, this is a trip right here, guys. Mandela effect mimicry, digi dirty smoke, blocked or unavailable. Um, so this is kind of like. Um, a collective a group of people here or one person is not remembering an event correctly. This event is regarding mimicry, copying something 
So plagiarism or, or uh, this could also be some kind of, I don't know, uh, parroting of someone, making fun of someone here. But they did you dirty though. They wanted smoke, but now you're blocked or unavailable. Meaning, I feel like the seven of wands. When I say blocked or unavailable, I mean you blocked this person or you are no longer available. Your energy, you took your energy back from this, from this situation. You pulled your energy back. Okay. So they're not remembering something correctly. Maybe they forgot that they how they were making fun of you. Because I feel like someone was in the Five of Swords energy the whole time. Did they forget about that? Did they forget about, like, yeah, they did. <laughs> and that's why your blocks are unavailable. This person wanted smoke the whole time. Okay, yeah. But your haters are about to make you famous. Right now, the only sign we have out on here is Pisces, so... This could all be, maybe this reading is for Pisces. Okay, maybe this is really a reading about, about Pisces. I don't know. Because we have jealous, bitter bitches here. And they play too much. Yeah, they, they, this Pisces was playing in your energy the whole time. Or these, these people were your haters. A bunch of jealous, bitter bitches. They were doing beauty spells on you the whole time. Or you had these people under a beauty spell. But something about beauty spells here. Okay, we have brainwashing and mind control once again. That comes up in almost every reading I do. So this could be, you know, experiments being done by the CIA or... Or this is going on at like Guantanamo or I don't know. This this is something going on here. This is some kind of an experiment or um, they try to make you forget about something here. I don't want you to remember how something really occurred. I posted something about the Manchurian Canada. It's a good movie. You should watch that movie. Because I'm picking that up here. Bots or NPCs. You could be dealing with non-player characters here or bots. And uh, we have an Aquarius. So now we have Pisces and Aquarius on the table. What's with this Aquarius? What's up with this Aquarius, please? Aquarius, a Sagittarius. What's up with uh, the Sagittarius and the Aquarius? Okay, now we have a Virgo. So Aquarius, a Sag, and a Virgo are, are doing something here. What are the what is this Aquarius, Sagittarius, Virgo doing? Okay, we have Libra. Okay, so illegal activities. So these could be people that are up to no good here, or dealing with the justice system or a court of law. An Aquarius, a Sagittarius, and a Virgo may be getting their karma right now for illegal activities or dealing with a Libra. Maybe a Libra is doing illegal, act illegal activities. What's this Libra doing? Uh, a celeb watches your channel. So I feel like a Libra watches your channel or something like that. Or... Someone want us to love watches your channel if you're a Libra. Check your astro. There's an important transit. You could be dealing with your twin flame, 1111. Uh, you may be, your twin flame may be a Cancer. Yeah, a Cancer and a Leo are twin flames here. Uh, if you're a Leo, they're purposely trying to hide you, keep you stuck, or deter you. We already know that. Yep, they're doing binding work on you, Leo. Your soulmate. 
Your soulmate could be a porch pirate. Getting the Seven of Swords energy. But um, for some of you, the person that's doing this, uh, the person that is doing this binding work, that's your soulmate, that's a porch pirate, could be a Taurus, masculine energy. This person could also be stalking you for some reason. We have, yeah, it's a karmic masculine doing this. Who's this karmic masculine, this porch pirate, this soulmate of yours, Leo or whoever? Yeah, it's a, it's a Capricorn. Okay, so Leo, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, could be a Capricorn rising or whatever, just dodge, duck, or roll away. Underneath the deck, we have checkers. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. This is like a clown fight here. This is this is uh, pretty, um, this is like five of wands energy here, okay? Where you just jump over, just jump over a square or whatever, move to the next position, so. So anyway, guys, um, I could keep going. I just feel like, why would I? For 21 minutes. I mean, such a long time so here. But yeah. Um, well, those were some different messages. With the exception of the mimicry, uh, some of the same stuff keeps coming out. But um, yeah. But we had some sign, different signs come out. So that is what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys back here real soon. Take care.